Hello my friends, how is everyone doing? I hope everyone's having a great day. This is Nesto. Today I wanted to make a special video just because if you go back to the first video that I ever posted, it was uh, posted about a year ago. I wanted to make I wanted to make the video to be exactly on the day that I released the first video, but unfortunately I had to work and I could not make it happen. So finally I have some time and this is uh, what I wanted to show you. Um, the very first video that I made was, uh, I was very excited and I felt thrilled about making the video and I felt uh, that it deserved the video because it was the very first super that I had ever found and uh, this is it this is the super that I <clears throat> I went to a Walmart and I found a dump in and I just kept on looking through the you know through every single car I had no idea this was the super so I just had a stockpile of uh, these Chevy Chevelles and as I was putting them back on the dump and I noticed the first thing that caught my attention was the difference between the super and the regular which is this tempo on the top I first thought oh that's a variation and then when I looked at it I was like wait a second that's a TH and I just could not believe it that was my first super ever and it was a really nice car so I was very happy about it and I made the video. After that I started making more videos and <clears throat> I had no idea what I wanted to make uh, videos about. And I just kept on looking through you guys' channels and felt inspired by your unboxings, by your costumes, by your uh, RAOKs, by all of your awesome videos. And I just, you know, get, kept on building on my channel. And I guess I found my identity, you could say. Uh, I am more of a customizer. I collect cars mainly because I want to customize them. So I don't really collect whole sets, whole uh, series, the 200 semi cars that are released a year, 250. I don't collect them all. I just get the ones that I like. And uh, already three minutes into the video, let's get going with, uh... oh, actually, you all know on my previous video, what was really funny about though, is that it was yesterday, Friday, the 11th, when was my first anniversary, you could say, of uh, the first video that I released, and I was wondering, I was like, man, I really wish I could find a super to celebrate my first year uh, of finding a super. And I actually did. I don't know if you saw my video, I found a box and this is the one that I pulled out. That is awesome. A year ago, exactly a year ago, I found that one. A year after, I found this one. I could not be happier. But yeah, let's get into the cars. This video is going to be a long video, so stay put, guys, because I have a lot of cars to show you. These are all of my customs. So, yeah, they are a lot. All of them, though. Some of them I have never shown, so this is going to be the first time that I actually show some of these cars. So, stay put. Okay, so this is the first one. This car right here was the first that I ever found and I you know I love BMWs and this is the car that actually started my collection I believe well it was another BMW it was a red one but this is the one that actually started it this second time around and this is the first attempt to customizing that I ever did first ever there are my headlights that I painted with the silver sharpie and the wheels that I also painted with the silver sharpie so yeah that's my number one then I f 
found my red paint from Hobby Lobby and I wanted to take it a, a, a step further by starting to paint taillights. So this is my very first attempt to painting taillights on a car. And I painted all the wheels red. I think it looks pretty cool like that. I was really proud of this car when I first did it. And I still am. This I have never shown. This is awesome. One side I left it just white. I think it looks cool either or. I painted the wheels red and I painted the stripe, the mirrors also. I think this little car looks awesome, really, really cool. So this is like cost number three. I am also showing them in a progressive order. I don't know if that was exactly the order, but I know that that's how they were progressing. There's this one. <clears throat> This little Celica, I love this little car. I found this is the first car that I ever like bought multiples of. Because I just really really liked it. This was my first attempt to painting something on a car and uh, removing the tempos on a car. Did I paint the wheels too? Yeah, I actually painted the wheels too. So this was a major, a major custom for me. I painted the wheels, removed tempos, and I painted the roof, the trunk, the hood, and the trunk lid. I didn't paint the tail lights on here. But yeah, this car was pretty cool. I was really proud about it. Then we have this one. This Chevelle wagon. I removed the tempos on this one and I started to create my own roof racks. I believe this is the second attempt of making a roof rack. The first one is on another combi which is actually right here. This was the very first attempt to making a roof rack on my behalf by following some of uh, Mr. Sensitivity's pointers. He makes some sick costumes. He was one of the main reasons I started uh, customizing my own wheels. And uh, I also had that, that thrive since I was younger. Then we have this one, really cool, really cool van. I removed the tampos on it and I gave it a roof rack. I detailed the roof. I think it looks alright. Detail the windows in the back. Looks cool. Then we have this. Two little cars. I swapped the wheels amongst them too. I think this was my first wheel swap. I tried it. Tried it between these two cars. And I gave them both a roof rack, which I think looks all right. And there's this guy. I forgot the name of his channel. MK3 VR6, something like that. He used to make some sick customs. He stopped making videos, but I followed some of his cool ideas on making a wooden roof rack. I had made one before out of metal, which I lost. I don't know where it's at right now. But yeah, I made one of these following uh, his advice. Come on. There it is. I think it looks, looks all right. Yeah, let's put them back. On these cars, I actually forgot to show, I started to paint the interior. So these were my first two, on which I painted red interior and flat black. These two cars started uh, what I wanted to make. Mo many of you have made them before, which is a black fleet of cars, which is mainly on that side, as you can see. 
most of them red interiors and black outside this is a really cool car that I got a custom engine on it it looks sick when I first started painting my cars I used uh, plastic dip it is a form of paint which is a rubber paint if I wanted to I can actually start you know going at the paint and start peeling it off it peels off as if, as if it was rubber it's a uh, pretty cool stuff it also looks almost like leather so that's what I started to customize with early on let's spit it up because this is it seems like it's gonna take a while I may have to do part one and part two we'll see and there's this really cool Daytona charger on which I also painted red interior and flat black then there is a uh, this Chevelle awesome car I really like this car so this was one of my first uh, or my earlier customizing attempts on a Chevelle I think it looks alright and then we have this there's a Grand Torino I forgot what the name was I think this car looks pretty cool so yes I applied the same technique to most of these cars you know black on the outside red interior and I signed my name on most of them I believe as you can see Nesto this one should yeah have it in the back as to oh, yeah let's bring more in <clears throat> we have this little Mazda which is awesome really really cool car and uh, what is this Chevelle 64 Chevelle pardon me there I painted the red engine pretty cool red interior and silver interior golden grill golden uh, rear as well I think it looks alright and then my first attempt on customizing a couple of Batmobiles this was a uh, a gray one when it was first released also I painted it black with red trimmings on the outside this was a blue Batmobile which also I painted flat black and painted the wheels with red I think it looks alright I think actually this one looks pretty cool it's one of my favorite ones I think it looks much better like that versus being blue Okay, so now let's move on to the next ones right here. We have our minis, which are awesome. Really, really cool cars. Really easy to take apart and customize. I have to shine this one. Give it some mother's metal shine. And polish it there's those minis then this awesome hauler and this badass skyline let's keep moving I don't want to take forever then this was a blue Continental it was just released in black, but when it was in blue I was like man. I really wish it was black. So I made my own This is an early custom also And then there's this Cuda I believe 
I hope it is. Then we have the repo. Oh yes, and I liked using plastidive because I didn't have to strip the cards. I would just take them apart and straight up spray it on. Okay, that that's that so far. Let's move on to this one. Actually, yeah, I'm just gonna leave them there. I'm trying to make some room and uh, try to talk about them. Yeah. There's that gasser also. I gave it a custom engine, real riders. Then we have uh, that red wagon, which I gave it real riders. Detail the interior. This one is one worth looking at out, out here. One of my first major customs. Really cool stuff. My A team van. Custom van. Real riders. Custom stripe. And I custom made the wing and the back. Then we have these really cool Toyota truck with custom wheels. And look at that. That Silverado with a custom bed with matchsticks and a couple of wheel swaps on that Civic custom headlights then that Chevelle with custom wheels then that A100 purple one awesome We have that sex that that's an I'm sorry 620 that's in 620 which I gave it custom headlights removed tampos painted the top and gave it a custom bed and then I made his little brother right here flat black red interior custom wheels really cool then we have this one right here really cool custom Chevy with custom bed in the back. This one is really cool. It's the only, only one that I've made this way. I think I should make another one. I made this early in the day. Wheels, I just put them on. Like right before I started making the video. Because back then I didn't have wheels. Now I do. It looks sick. Okay. Then we have that car really cool it's my first attempt of uh, on taking it a car apart and putting it together with another one which is the hauler right there it was not a hauler I made it into a flatbed hauler we have that custom beetle right there also really really cool then we have that beautiful